So I'm here to talk about a, a, a revolution, but first, a little bit of context. My name is Jan, and I don't understand why it's going so fast. Um, I've been working at SNCF since uh, uh, for six years now, and I co-started the Edge Initiative there and SNCF. Well, it's a major transportation co company here in France, and uh, specifically trains. To, and to give you the idea of the scale of the impact of our Edge project, well, SNCF operates 15,000 trains every day and transport 10 million people, which is <laughs> which is uh, about 15% uh, of the French population. So why make a revolution on such a critical workload? Well, because uh, we need it. Oh, yeah. There seems to be an issue yeah, with my uh, PowerPoint. I'm sorry. And let's go. Uh, um, how would I do that? OK. Sorry. Yeah, let's try it that way. OK. No, it doesn't seem to want to, to work. Uh, sorry. So, yeah, trains have a 40 years long life cycle. They are industrial environments, and uh, as such, every technology that is uh, embarked on trains has to live that long. Uh, for IT, it means that uh, we have uh, software functions, secure ones, like uh, brake controls or door, door controls, and comfort, uh, comfort functions, like uh, the customized Wi Fi. And uh, until, na until now, uh, from an IT perspective, every function is managed the same way, which is a specific software uh, on a specific uh, electronic board with a specific uh, operating system racked in a unit such as this one, which means uh, we have a very limited uh, physical uh, <coughs> capacity. And uh, uh, since it does not support remote deployment, we have to have uh, on-site deployment for every function or for every update of one. Okay. And uh, due to that, we have uh, uh, a two years long uh, time to market for every function or every update to have a complete deployment. And that's why with uh, the IT, the embedded IT teams, we dec decided to build uh, an edge system to try to solve all these issues. So how does it work? Uh, first, to not reinvent uh, the wheel, we tried to build on uh, existing capacities of the train. So we have uh, 4G uh, communication, and we had uh, um, stored out hardware, uh, at least hardware that is certified for train, uh, that we can use uh, to uh, build a <coughs> as a shared capacity provider for our functions. Then we built a, a custom uh, stack uh, for this hardware with uh, K3s, uh, a custom uh, operating system, which is a bit like Keros, but uh, self-built, self-developed, uh, self and a VPN client, uh, client to secure communications and help us be network agnostic. And this 4G communications brings us in the uh, SNCF network, and there we built uh, a VPN proxy uh, to allow us to deploy a, uh, Rancher uh, in the cloud where we have uh, scaling capacities and to use a uh, fleet as a manager to uh, make sure that we deploy everything we need on the trains. Uh, to, help, uh, <clears throat> to help us have uh, image availability uh, on trains, we also put uh, um, a registry inside uh, the VPN and uh, <clears throat> as a bonus, finally, a bit like uh, uh, Eric said, uh, we, we built a self-custom uh, controller to help us uh, have uh, automatic registration and configuration on everything that is not managed by Fleet nor Rancher. And where are we on this uh, revolution? Well, yeah, we're going there, but it's taking a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't want to go uh, on my... Uh, on my time. Uh, after a one-year POC and one-year project to deploy everything, we are now production ready, and we are, wait, uh, we are waiting for train maintenance to allow us to deploy our, our hardware on the trains. And it takes us at least two years to do that. So what are we doing uh, in the meantime? We're working on redundancy, uh, function redundancy, and we try to develop and migrate existing functions uh, on the edge. And uh, we try to certify the project to be able to host secure functions on the edge. Uh, 
system. And uh, also, we tried, uh, we, we've started to work on the Harbor Satellite with the Harbor team, uh, which is a, an edge minded uh, solution to help us uh, uh, ensure image, uh, image availability uh, on the edge. So, thank you for listening to me, and feel free to contact us if you have. Uh, <laughs> if you want further details on what we do, and have uh, an amazing KubeCon, everyone. <laughs>